The Step Below Hell by Olivia Bittner and Pathways into By Serenity at Dusk, are both third-party Magna Gothica Malag has supplements that add six new homebrew houses each to fight with, or rather, six new lower houses, and six new anti-houses. In The Step Below Hell, the lower houses are simply that, houses that aren't as great as the six great houses, but still take up the void left in between them, this includes, House Apostex, which empowers their necromancer with pact easily obtained by their proximity to hell through the inverted tower, but this power of course comes with a heavy cost, one that can be inverted into a strength with opportunity. House Rotcore is simply another mercenary guild vying for contracts within the dead city, they cannot compete with Carcass in terms of technology, so they compensate with sheer mass of bullets and bodies, fueling the demand for corpses as required, House Prusich sits at the top of the spiral of paranoia and fear set by the anxiety devil, who picks its servants from here, their greatest fear become their power, and have to do the devil's bidding or else they will plagued by it again. House Black Carpet does the bidding of the opportunity devil, a Mobius, instead, and the dead city has mountain of bodies, giving plenty of chance to become festering ground for the fungi and fly colonies, it's the only house that doesn't seek the end of death, for the great garden will never flourish if that happens. House Lilystone, once guardian of the vast waterway beneath the city, schisms and splits within house infrastructure has ruined their sanctuaries, the necromancers of Lilystone used the magic of phylacteries, granting them and their court immortality in a way, but this merely made their ancient feud endless, bringing the shadow war all the way to today. And finally, House Permia, a fort sitting behind layers of barbed wires and trenches, fueled by corpses in metal shell, the great bunker held for millennia, to the point that necromancer within never leave unless on the highest order, and even then, only in nigh impenetrable steel shell blessed by the beetle devil. And in pathways into, the anti-houses are also exactly that, not quite houses where people could just go up and join in, they are outsiders to the city and its people, yet it seems like they have always been here, this includes, anti-house Wildrot, who were once inhabitants of an ancient forest, now it's ashes, and its inhabitants are now forced to sacrifice their flesh to their new patron, Devil of Decay, and instead form new bodies out of the many corpses in the dead city. House Caligo, the disgraced and forgotten, once a mercenary company financed by the Chain Devil, their services became unneeded from other competitors and were soon discarded, only to find a ghostly fog at the underbelly of the city, something that might be more sinister than a devil, now they are Caligo, the disciplined, the unbroken, the unwavering. House Algrasdax proves one thing, getting more power is easy, you just have to abandon your mind and soul, with their reality bending delusions, the wizards of Algrasdax are terrifying outsiders that will devour everything, mostly literally with their teeth. House Costco I mean Cosico, are devotees of the greed devil, or rather, they shot it, and then looted the remain of one, banded together under the banner of Adaman, they seek to add more to their endless horde, and shoot anyone that gets in their way. House Axkewally came from the other side of hell, a dying, dwindling race of immortals long past their own prophecy, now merely sustaining their own life by eating and drinking the flesh and blood of others, to the point that they are barely holding back their animalistic hunger. And finally, House Lumina, born of a cosmic mistake, when crusaders of the Holy Lance asked the Almighty for help, it unfortunately responded, at night, a star fell, named the Ravenous Light, and much like a star, it incinerated the flesh and souls of those that came before it, and it still hunger, those who are desperate that survived its presence are granted celestial power, and put the bodies and melted equipment of the crusaders to good uses. All in all, these houses are full of very interesting concepts that more people should check out, you can find them both on itch.io, and yeah, this video is a bit of a short one, because I kinda needed a break of sort after going complete maniac mode and making so many long as hell videos in such a short span of time, anyway, that's all for now, and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe and click that notification bell button. If you want to see the videos early as well as further support my channel, you can join in my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.